wanted to share a project that I had worked on recently using two of the newest essential stencil products from the spring 2023 collection. For this project, the first product I wanted to use was the Hydrangea Flower Rub-On Transfer Pack. I'm not even kidding when I say that these colors pop so much in person. As you can see, I jumped right into the project because that's really all you have to do. Once you know what surface you want to use, you can start cutting into your sheet and planning what goes where. I love getting my hands dirty with paint, but sometimes I just want to craft without the messy cleanup. As you cut out the designs, start thinking about placement. I like to take all the designs and start placing them on the frame so I can visualize spacing and exactly what needs to go where. I like to paint my stencil first, so I don't want any surprises when the paint dries. You could just as easily put down your transfer first and then paint, it's really all just a personal preference. If you're like me and want to do the stenciling first, make sure that you snap a picture of your layout. You can always divert from it, but at least you know your original plan. Here's my picture, nothing fancy, just a quick layout with my stencil to reference. Now onto the stencil. I used a 6x6 six six stencil design from the Whimsical Wildflower Pack. This one says love grows here. This one is new for spring also, but I feel like some of the most fun stencil designs sayings have been from the 6x6 six six stencil packs. You might already know, but the stenciling process is pretty simple. Make sure that you have your stencil taped down with some painter's tape. This helps make sure that the stencil stays in place as you work your brush. Once it's taped firmly to the surface, just start painting. Everyone has a different stenciling technique. I like to use a swirl motion and offload my paint on the paint tray. A little paint goes a long way and it looks like I'm using more paint than I really was, but I typically use Waverly chalk paint for that very reason. The coverage is great, and as long as you have the stencil taped down, using a small amount of paint, it will come out perfect every time. If you use too much paint or do not tape down the stencil well enough, you may get some paint bleed. It should not be more than just a little touch up, but when you're dealing with black on a white surface, I'd rather just take a few seconds to make sure my taping is right. Trying to cover black on a white background can seriously take forever. So just repeat this process until your design is fully painted. For this project, I only needed black for the text since the rub-on transfers will be adding the pop of color that I wanted. Once you've given your paint some time to dry, now you're ready to peel and slowly pull off the stencil. There's a little nice crinkling sound, kind of soothing, and there you go. Now it's time for the transfers we cut out earlier. There is absolutely no learning curve when applying a transfer. You just need to remove the protective backing, line it up where you want to place it, and set it down. Rubbing the transfer tool on top of the design in all different directions ensures that it bonds well. If you see any bubbles, use the tool and push the bubble outward. It's no different than a vinyl decal on a car if you've ever done that before. You're going to want to do a few passes with the transfer tool. Now find a corner of the transfer and start to pull up while also applying a little pressure at the same time. If by some chance the transfer starts to come up a bit, gently lay down the top layer and rub outward. Now just repeat the process until you're happy with the placements. These hydrangea flowers come in a pack that includes two sheets with a total of around 35 different removable designs. Now they are removable and should not leave any residue behind if you need to remove them. They are very durable, but if you need to remove them or want to re replace one, they are very easy to remove. You may already know, but we do have quite a few different floral rub-on transfers. Most recently, we had those rose rub-on transfers that sold out so fast, so I know these will not be any different. So if you want to make sure you have them to use, I suggest you pre-order because we couldn't keep those rose transfers in stock. We also have a spring bunny design that we will be using in another video. They all just look so well done. A hand painted design that really adds a great element to your project that typically requires a lot of time, patience, and a much bigger mess. The last transfer is on there and we are done. 
fully complete this entire project in under 30 minutes, including cleanup. I love how this turned out. There will be a link in the description for all of the products that we used here today. So check it out and thanks for watching. See you again soon.